So this video can bring some smile on Windows users because Microsoft silently changed the Windows 11 requirement. In back days you already know Microsoft released Windows 11 version 2 to H2 and they also changed the requirement of Windows 11 2 to H2. Not much but yeah some people will be very happy about it. And I will also tell you one good news in the end of the video. So watch the video completely so you will understand what I am trying to tell you in this video. So basically Microsoft updated the processors requirement on their official website as you can see I already opened this website here. You can see Windows 11 version 2 to H2 supported AMD processor and here you can see Intel processors. Intel and AMD processors are updated now. So maybe suddenly your Windows 10 system or Windows 11 system can support Windows 11 officially because some people are already running Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. After this video you can check your system is now supported or not. So basically you need to go to these two links. If you have AMD processor you need to visit these links. So basically you need to go to this website and press Ctrl plus F to find your processor name here. So you can type here your processor like i7 as you can see i7 10th generation is also supported and i5 9th generation now you understand what I'm trying to say right so they just lower down the requirement of processors so maybe Microsoft already tested these processors and they found it uh, like Windows 11 running very smoothly on these processors so they just updated their requirement right so you can find your processor here if your processor supported and you have 4GB RAM good hard drive or SSD you are now free to upgrade maybe you will not get here your processor processor so that's not the problem okay so you can also run windows 11 on unsupported hardware without any kind of problem this is the thing i want to tell you so i found a post on reddit like someone running windows 11 on first generation processor with 2.6 giga hard speed and 8 gb ram and this guy shared the complete experience about this windows 11 2 to s2 and he already told in this post like it's running very very smoothly like a magic right so you can go through this post i will put this link in description so using rufus he just got to install this on unsupported hardware so it is recommended to do a clean install of windows 11 on unsupported hardware so then you will get the best performance from it i told how you can upgrade to windows 11 2 to h2 from windows 10 to 1 h2 or 2 to h2 on unsupported hardware without losing any data you can get that video link in the description in the starting of the video i told you i will give you one bonus news so what will happen after 2025 because after that windows 10 is going to expire microsoft will not support windows 10 will you get windows 11 on your unsupported hardware automatically or not so basically the thing is microsoft is going to change the requirement after 2025 right because so many system doesn't support windows 11 and after that they are going to update their processor and these tpm requirement okay so this is the thing i just want to tell you guys so let me know who get supported processor in this list which earlier was not supported 